I'm doing a kind of like get ready with me trying new things makeup chat and you guys seem to really like them because it's a little bit more personal you know you can turn on this video and do your makeup with me let's just get started so first off I'm um, just wanted to say in this video a cup last month I got a package surprise package from prettylittleface.com they sent me some stuff so I'm actually gonna try it out I haven't even opened any of this stuff yet so I want to give them a shout out and thank them for sending me that stuff yeah I'm gonna start off with sunscreen like I always do I'm just gonna use this one because it's the first one I grabbed this is from good all this is the mild protect watery sun cream this is awesome because it is it looks like this sorry it's kind of bright it's kind of hard to get the lighting right over here but it's the mild protect watery sun cream from good all and I like this because it's not heavy at all it's actually very lightweight. Okay, now that I've got that on, also it smells really nice. Um, I'm gonna put on lip balm. Again, I'm still working on the Skin Food Rose Essence Lip Balm. Not a big fan of it. I'm just trying to use it up because I, something else I'm not a big fan of is wasting things. So I don't wanna waste it. I just, I just don't like it. I feel like I'm eating rose whenever I have this on my lips. like. I like the scent of rose, I just don't like eating it. And it's so glossy and shiny that it tends to get in my mouth. So I'm gonna try this base that they sent me. This is from Etude House. This is the Baby Chew Base in mint, which is good for helping with redness. If you have any red, you know, areas of your face. Sometimes I do, I get um, like blotchy cheeks sometimes. I don't really have it in particular right now, but I wanna try this out. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a go. About that much there. I've got my mirror, uh, my mirror here, so I'm not really doing this like a tutorial, like I said. It's just kind of a fun, get ready with me type of video, chatty. All right. That's what my face looks like. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna use this Choco eyebrow powder cake that they sent me. This is from Skin Food. Ooh, it comes with two shades. I am probably going to go, there's like this one which is warmer and this one's a bit cooler. I'll probably go with a little bit cooler shade. That's just what I tend to gravitate towards. Oops. Kind of got a little haphazard with my brow. A lot of you guys been, have been commenting and asking and saying stuff like, oh, I think you'd look really nice with like a straight eyebrow. Um, I have a video that I kind of imitated a straight Korean eyebrow I did a long, long time ago. I'll link it below or something. You guys can watch that and see what I look like with straight eyebrows. I don't think I look bad. I just prefer having a little bit of an arch to my eyebrow. And also, that's just the way my eyebrows naturally arch. Also, some of you guys say that my eyebrows are really far apart. Um, that's just kind of where they start. I don't actually pluck my eyebrows very often. So, sorry that my eyebrows are too far apart for your liking, but I don't think they, I've never gotten that before until I started YouTube. Well, that's where my eyebrows start, so I don't know what, even if I were to fill in, let's just do it. Fill in my eyebrows there, so you guys can see. It's just because I don't fill in the front of them very much. But just so you guys can see what I look like. Can you guys see a difference? So there. <laughs> I look, oh, I'm not used to it. Maybe I'll just, I'll just go with it. We're trying new things here, so. I'm just gonna use my little Panda Dreams eye base. If you guys have oily skin or oily lids, you won't like this. It'll crease like no other on you, but I don't have oily eyelids. I have dry everything, so. I notice that a lot of like makeup people on YouTube will apply their foundation first, and then they'll move on to their, um, eye makeup and then they'll apply the concealer so I kind of want to try that so I'm going to apply my foundation first and then I'm going to do my eye makeup so for my foundation I'm just going to use this um, Kate powderless cover powderless liquid for cover foundation I really like this I'm just going to I just flung that on my carpet oh well I will get it after I'm done filming and the shade that I'm using is in OCD. These are from Pop Cosmetics. I only got three different shades, but I really like their eyeshadows from what I'm trying from these. And so I kind of want to order some more shades, but um, I'm trying to like, girl, I do not need any more makeup, but 
you know. I got this one which is in Puppy Love. This is like a beige with a little bit of pink undertone to it and this actually all the proceeds of this go to some type of animal shelter I believe so um, I was like yes a wonderful pretty eyeshadow and I get to help animals out. Animals I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Etude House eyeshadow in my crease. This is in BR407. This is like the perfect eyeshadow for everyone. Everyone should own this eyeshadow because it's just like a matte camel brown color. So I use this as a blending out color for almost all my makeup looks because it's just like the perfect matte transition color. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of this shade from ColourPop again. This is in Bill. Finally, I'm gonna use this color which is in Bay and it is my favorite out of the three shades that I got. And it is really a very interesting color because I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a, it's like a dark greeny blue color with a violet iridescence to it. So I'm just gonna put this into my outer V. I like to smudge out this Holika Holika Jewel Light Waterproof Eyeliner. It's just super smudgy and easy to work with. Okay, so that's what that looks like. If you guys like my headband? I made it. You can buy one down below. I have a 50% off sale going on right now. Not that you have to buy one, but I get asked about these headbands a lot whenever I wear them, so I just like to throw that in there. So you guys are aware, but you don't have to buy one. No big deal. I won't be take offense to it. The mascara that I'm using is this Oh My Lash from Etude House in Volume and it's really nice. I think when I was in Korea and I got this, it was like pff, like five bucks, so it's super cheap and it does a really good job. Do you guys ever like finish your mascara and then like step back and look at yourself and like look at your bald eye and think like, hmm, this is what I'd look like if I was gifted with beautiful eyelashes, but alas, I am not. <clears throat> now, kind of weird I feel like I'm going back in steps when I'm gonna use or apply concealer so the concealer that I'm gonna use is this big cover concealer the cushion concealer from Etude House gosh I don't know I think I like applying my eye makeup and then going on to my foundation because I feel like when I get fallout it doesn't like fallout and I if I do my foundation first and then I do my eyes I get fallout and then when I apply my concealer I feel like it just kind of mixes in with the concealer all the fallout so I feel like it just makes more sense to do it how I've been doing it with my eye makeup first. I'm gonna use I've been kind of like digging this like play 101 stick in number 11. This works well enough it's just a little almost I wish it were darker and less orange. <laughs> you guys see it's kind of orangey. And then I just take a stippling brush and I just blend it in. This is actually a blush I've been using pretty much every single day for the past month. And this is in Max Cream Blush and it is in, it's a blush cream and it is in Posy. But I just like really like how dewy and pretty it makes my skin. So. And finally I'm going to do a highlight because why not? So I'm going to actually use this highlighter. I haven't used this highlighter in a long time. This is also for MAC. This is in Shell. This is a cream color base. So it's not a blush, but it's, um, a, you can basically use it all over your face. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it on your nose. You can use it on your cheeks like I am, but I'm just going to use it as a little bit of a highlight on my cheeks. Now I can finally wipe to sneeze. Okay, now I can finally wipe this lip essence off my lip. This one is in Fast Play. It's one of my all-time favorite lipsticks from MAC. Mm, apply it on my lips. Okie dokie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me Chatty Edition and trying new things. Thank you again, Pretty Little Face, for sending over. Oh, yeah, and they also sent some sheet masks and this, which is the Neogen Dermology Real Flower Cleansing Water rose cleansing water so I'm gonna try this but as you can see I haven't opened it yet because I got a couple cleansing waters I have that I need to work through before I open more crap in my house but yes so as 
always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.